An investigation is underway into the death of a three-month-old boy attacked by what's being described as a pet wolf hybrid. The child was killed Thursday at a house in Chelsea. Chelsea first responders got the call around one o'clock and when they got there, they found a grisly scene. The child pronounced dead at Grandview Medical Center. ABC 3340's Aaron Wise looked into what a wolf hybrid is and any regulations in our state for them. A wolf hybrid scientifically is a cross between a pure wolf and a domestic dog or a wolf dog. Lori Wynn says wolf hybrids are rare. She's the founder and CEO of a wolf and wolf dog education organization called Guardians of the Wolf, which works across the country. She's the owner of wolf dogs, pictured here for more than 20 years. They are canines that have wolf DNA, but neither parent is a wolf. She explains her animals need a lot of attention. We start our day with a two mile hike in the woods every single morning. They need enrichment. Um, they're loving animals. Her organization advocates for responsible ownership. She says any canine with or without wolf DNA can become aggressive. A canine can turn because it can have an infection in its mouth, a tooth problem. It could be a genetics you know, um, issue. There's so many different reasons why all of a sudden a canine can become aggressive and do something like this. The Shelby County Sheriff's Office is investigating a reported pet wolf hybrid attack that resulted in the death of a three-month-old child in Chelsea. This is a... Uh... It's just unthinkable that this could happen to this baby. Everyone, please be kind to this family regarding social media. They've suffered a tremendous loss, and it doesn't need to be compounded. Chelsea Mayor Tony Picklesheimer says the city of Chelsea was unaware the wolf hybrid was at the home. The city does not have a code prohibiting exotic pets, but it's something they will look into. This is taking us down an avenue that we've never driven, and uh, so... Uh, We'll see. In Chelsea, Aaron Wise, ABC 3340 News. State veterinarian Tony Frazier says the current rabies vaccine is not approved for wolves or wolf hybrids, which makes it illegal to own one. State law requires vaccinations of any canine or feline. The wolf hybrid in this case was euthanized and taken to Auburn for further testing.